I want to go back to your days at the Comedy Store, and you said that eventually Robin Williams Robin. ended up coming. And I got to imagine he was one of your heroes. I mean, so inspirational. Yeah. And so many comics deal with depression. Why do you think that is, first of all, with so many comics? Is it just, is it just the outlet? Look, this is just a shot in the dark. I think rejection is something that we take to heart. Every time you go up on stage, it doesn't matter how many times you've done it, there's that possibility. There'd be an audience that just doesn't care for you. And it's personal, you know? I think what happens to comics is that we are in the business of being liked. We're in the business of being funny. Even when I'm on stage, I'm entertaining your crew. I'm trying to bring a little laughter. Well, Robin was that 10 times, you know? The Robin I knew was a guy that needed an audience more then perhaps the audience needed him, you know? He was doing big movies, he'd still go to the comedy store at two, three in the morning. He, man, he had to make somebody laugh. He had this need that he was addicted to the laughter, you know? To me, he was kind, he was uh, thoughtful, and he gave me so many opportunities. You know, I did an HBO special with him and Billy Crystal, the comedy store's 25th anniversary. Mm -hmm. Then I did the improv's 15th anniversary. And it was only because Robin said so, that's why I did it. And he told him, look, let's put some Latinos in here. He was always doing that for me. One time I, 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 I said something that was out of line to the owner, uh, Mitzi Shore of the Comedy Store, and I was persona non grata there, and I thought, man, if I can't work in the main room, which is the only place, that was Mecca, the only place to work, then I might as well just go back to school. There's, there's no future for me, right? Where do I go? And I was there in front, you know, all dejected, and I saw a pair of red shoes, and I look up, and it was Robin. He goes, hey, what's wrong, hombre? I go, man, you know, I just upset Mitzi. I did this, I did that. He goes, ah, it'll blow over. You'll be back, I I'm gonna talk to her. And I went, you know, I thought he was just a friendly thing. The next day, I get a call from the secretary of the comedy store saying I was uh, in the main room at 10 o'clock. That's cool, man. Yeah. What did you think when you first heard about his passing? <clears throat> Sadness. You know, <clears throat> there are people in this life that when you hear their passing, it affects you, you know, you go, wow. Mm -hmm. Even if you never met him. But, but you know, I knew Robin. It was, uh, it's the way he left that hurts, you know? Yeah. 